we are facing a major food competition. We are going to replicate the most impressive and delicious recipes from Disney movies. And to find out who will be the winner, our dish will be judged by the strictest and most feared food critic in the world, Javierito Mortecelli. This guy is very dangerous. Legend has it that he has never laughed in his life, and the day he was born, the doctor didn't spank him. He spanked the doctor. Outside this place, there is a demolition crane. If you press this button, the demolition crane will be activated with all of us inside. If anyone presses that button, the video ends. If any of the chefs make me upset, I'm going to press this button. We start with the first round, and I have a dish that I think I can impress Chef Javier Izzo with. This is the eye-shaped sushi from the movie Monsters, Inc. I have to try really hard because if the chef doesn't like this dish, he can hit the demolition button and this video would be over. I'm a little bit nervous. To make this look perfect, I'm going to use thin cuts of what is in my opinion the most delicious fish in the world, salmon. And there are many types, each with different and unique flavors. Like for example, the delicious silver salmon or the red salmon that stands out a lot for its bright and beautiful reddish color. But for this recipe, we're going to use the biggest and heaviest of them all, the king salmon. Among all, this is the one that contains the most fat and that makes its taste incredible, but it is also the most expensive. So I have to be very careful. I don't want to ruin it. It's very crazy to think the fish don't have eyelids. They can't close their eyes and for that reason they never blink. They always have their eyes open, even when they sleep. But even crazier is that they can see in the deepest and darkest parts of the ocean, where practically no light reaches them. Fish are always some animals, simply a majestic creation. And well, to see the final result of how this recipe turned out, I'm going to do a very powerful edit. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to do it with this app called Vivacut, and you'll see how I can do it in record time. Because this app has a lot of templates that allow you to edit videos very quickly and make them with a very good finish. So to do it, we click here where it says templates, and here you will find many options. Our favorite was this one. So we clicked on it. It asks us to select the photos and videos we want. So we select them, click on continue, and we are done. Now we just click on export, and let's see how this thing turned out. It was very good and with very little effort. It is very good to make this type of edit. So if you want to use it, we are going to leave the link below for you to download it. I think it looks just like the movie. Sorry to tell you, but that looks like a troll's nipples. Whoa. This competition is going to be a tough one. So I'm going to go for the legendary recipe from the movie Encanto, a movie inspired in Colombia that shows beautiful landscapes. I'm talking about the mythical and delicious stuffed fritters. This recipe is a jewel of Colombian gastronomy. It is a delight. To create them, you have to combine the perfect amount of various types of flours, sugar, and salt to create a light and super fluffy dough that melts in your mouth. They will also have melted cheese in the center. At this point comes the riskiest part, cooking them. Anyone who has made fritters knows that when you cook them, they can be explosive. I hope they don't explode me. They're where they see me frying those fritters, I'm afraid. At the moment, I can see that they are turning out perfectly golden and beautiful. And then the house exploded. Just kidding. Didn't blow up the house, but those fritters turned out amazing. I decided to try them, and they taste amazing. I wish you guys were eating them. They taste delicious. But as amazing as they are, I can't trust them. Javierito Mortecelli is very picky. He might not like my recipe, and that would be fatal. One more person has just entered the competition. It's the renowned illusionist Alex White. This means that in this competition, we will have another rival to face and he will also have to present his dishes to Chef Javier Izzo. We don't know what Alex plans to do. He is a very unpredictable person, and even though he is very good at making magic, it seems he has no idea what cooking is, let alone how to make a dish that is up to the standards of this competition. He did, however, manage to replicate the pizza drink from the WALL-E movie. We don't know what this thing will taste like. Maybe it will surprise us. One of the most dangerous and dreaded moments of this first round arrived. 
the time to present our dishes to the chef? I just hope he doesn't push the button. That would be terrible. Chef, here I bring you the amazing sushi from Monster Inc. I hope you like it very much. Why do you have your hand there on the button? Just in case. If you prefer, try it. And if you like it, you won't need to press the button. That's fine. But if I don't like it, I'm going to press this button and I'm going to go to your house and I'm going to install another button. <sighs> this is getting very tense. I'm going to try it. I just hope the chef likes my dish. This dish was very average. I didn't like it. In fact, I'm going to push the button. Here, take it. Don't push the button. Button? What button? I don't have any button. They were actually Monopoly tickets, but he accepted them. Now it's my turn to present my recipe to the chef. Hello, Chef Javierizzo. I bring you over here the delicious recipe from the movie Encanto. They are Colombian fritters. I hope you like them. But never touch me again in your life. I'm going to taste them. The chef is very upset and is tasting my dish right now. This could go very wrong. Chef. They look amazing. I love them. Yeah, they're great. Hey, let go of my fritters. Chef didn't want me to eat, but they were really good. Let go. Let go of them. Now it's Alex's turn to present his dish to the chef. Let's see how he does. Let go of the beignet. Chef, here's my recipe. Mr. Javierizzo, I brought you the pizza drink from the movie Wally. -E. Why are you so nervous? I'm a fan. I've seen all your shows. A picture? I don't like sycophants. Anyone knows that Chef Javierizzo hates everyone, even his fans. What's your favorite show? Assaulting the Stars, episode 58. <laughs> That's a good one. He beat the crap out of Richard Peterson. <laughs> he deserved it. <laughs> Shut up. I'm gonna taste your drink. <coughs> this is disgusting. I'm gonna push the button. It is an honor to die with you. Why isn't it working? Luckily, the button was disconnected, and that's why it didn't work. I think it's the power of love. Let me go, flatterer. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm disgusted by this guy. Production, fix this button. But now it is connected, and if he presses it again, there will be no way to save us, and this video would be over. The second round is here, and the stakes are getting much higher. To win this round, I'm going to try to make a dessert from the movie Brave. I'm talking about the delicious and fluffy sweet rolls. The key to winning this competition is effort, and that applies to anything you want to achieve in life, like for example having the body of your dreams. But to achieve it, you have to spend several years training really hard, and there will be people who will tell you that you're not going to make it. But the one who works hard at his job has food in abundance, and he who chases fantasies ends up in poverty. So even if you are very bad at something, never give up, and you will see that at some point you will make it. I'm about to start with my recipe, which is inspired by the worms in the movie The Lion King, but I'm going to take it to another level. I'm going to recreate these worms into a delicious, tangy gummy treat. But I'm not going to settle for just making little worms. I'm going to make a giant worm. I'm going to pour this stuff you see here, which is citric acid. So my gummy is going to be sour and sweet. I'm going to make it cherry flavor. It's going to be delicious. I don't know about you, but I love gummies that taste like this. After pouring my gummy mixture into this mold, I let it dry. Then I proceeded to uncover it, and that's how I created this super worm. Wow, it looks massive, it's amazing. And the taste, delicious. It was Alex's turn. I'm going to make the princess and the toad French toast for this round. Well, let's see how Alex does preparing this thing. He looks pretty focused, although I can tell he's having a hard time. Hey, I... Alex, who left the lid open? Cooking is definitely not his thing. This guy is really strange, he's doing some really weird stuff. And for some reason he keeps doing magic tricks. I don't know if you knew this, but even though they're called French toast, they were actually created in the United States, in New York, by this guy who goes by the name of Joseph French. You have to admit, his recipe looks just like the one in the movie, and it makes me hungry just looking at it. One of the most awaited moments of this competition has arrived. Let's present the dishes to the chef. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know if he's gonna press the button, but there's no turning back now. Let's go with this. Chef, here I bring you the delicious cakes from the Brave movie. They are very sweet, and I hope you enjoy them very much. Chef, we have a problem with this. What's wrong? How does this sound? Like rock. Like rocks. I think I left the rolls in the oven too long and that made them harden more than they should have. 
How dare you bring food stones to a food critic like me? You are disrespecting me! That wasn't the idea. That wasn't what I wanted. I want you to understand that you left me no choice. I'm going to press the button because of you! Chef! Chef! Ouch! Get him! The chef's gone crazy. He wants to push the button and we're holding him so he won't do it. We can't let him press it yet, because it would end the video. And besides, we don't want to die. It's time for me to present my recipe. Hello, Chef Javierizzo. Here I bring you- Are you nervous? And I'm a little nervous, because my worm broke a little bit. Why is it broken? I'm going to taste this worm. The chef is tasting the gummy worm I made. I'm very nervous. I don't know what's going to happen. The taste is good, but I hate red gummy worms. So this dish is horrible. I'm going to push the button. No, 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 don't push. And truth be told, if the chef gets upset again, there's no stopping him. He is very upset. It was Alex's turn to present his recipe. Here, I bring you the French toast of the princess and the toad. Tell me something you like about me. Well, I like your personality. Yeah. I like her charisma. Hey, it's okay. Chef Javier Itzo doesn't like to be talked down to. And I like his heart. I don't like sycophants. I'm gonna try this. He doesn't like to be talked down to either. And I also like his hairstyle. Stop it, kid. You're getting weird. In fact, he doesn't like to be talked to. The chef's face after tasting this toast. It doesn't look good at all. I'm scared, folks. There's a good chance he's gonna push that button. Okay, boy. The flavor of this French toast was... Amazing! Congratulations! You won the competition! Yes! Boy, you are a big idiot! 